Hello, Bees Bladers. Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have an exciting new release from Petrified Fish to share with you guys and gals today. Speaking of Petrified Fish, I was scrolling through the Instagrams and today I saw that the Petrified Fish Bunta is back. I know a lot of you missed it because they sold out so fast, probably because it's such a freaking awesome knife, but they're back in stock. And of course, you know, I will have links in the description to every knife and piece of equipment you see in this video. So I want to reuse this for a giveaway knife uh, because, well, <laughs> we are gearing up for a big giveaway. Just saying, just saying. All right, let's get in here and check this out. Thank you subscribers, thank you patrons, and thank you channel members. You guys are awesome, absolutely awesome. I appreciate all your support of the channel and everybody that comments and every video, you don't realize how much that helps when you comment and when you hit the like button and you get a nice, uh, what do you call that? A little microfiber cloth and ooh, I cannot wait to see this one. Been checking the mail every day waiting for this one. I, I think uh, I ordered it about 12 days ago, so it didn't quite take two weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Would you look at it? And I got, I got both, I have both, I have the other version coming. You can get this one and also one in olive wood. But this one I figured, you know, I'll either keep white because I only have maybe one or two in white. And you know, it's kind of looking a little stormtrooper-ish, but not the blade. But also, let me get this doodad off the back here. Can I just pull this off? Yeah, I can. All right. So it comes with that little cord card thingy do. I figure if I ever get some spare time, this would be a great one to test out some uh, writ dye on. So here's the back side. Ooh, that is nice. Very nice. Um, this looks like titanium. Surely that's not titanium. Could it be? It might be. I don't know. Let's check. Let's see. Um, you know, I think this is some kind of titanium alloy because it's not very reactive at all. Huh. Very, very curious. Are you ready to see this blade? Let's get it out. Pow! Yes, look at that. Already have fingerprints all over it. A little oh, look at that oil off. That's good anyway. Ooh, mama, look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. That is sweet. Oh my goodness. Check out this side. Wow, that is so cool. It looks better in person than I thought it was going to. So you can, like I said, you can get this in olive wood or this version and they're, they're available right now. And oh my gosh, the action. I'm already loving it. I tell you what, we're going to do the action, fit, finish, ergos, all that fun stuff. And before we do, we're going to do the specs in 60 seconds. All right, let's see what she weighs. Uh, well, you know, it feels like it has a little bit of weight to it. I'm going to go with four, 4.1 and it is 3.93. Oh, I should have stuck with four. That's pretty close. 3.94 ounces. All right, let's get up here and do it. Are you ready? Are you set? So from tip to tip, we're 8.19 inches. You have a sheep's foot blade with 154 cm blade steel. It's satin finish. Your total blade length from right here to right here is 3.63 inches. Your sharpened blade length is 2.97 inches. Your blade width is 0.84 inches. And your blade stock thickness is 137 thousandths of an inch. Your blade's behind the edge, consistent all the way up, 18 thousandths behind the edge. Your handle material is a really nice looking G10. Your clothes length from tip to tip is 4.61 inches. Your handle width is 0.80 inches and your clothes width is 1.22 inches. Your handle thickness is 0.53 inches. You have a front flipper and we'll see what's in the pivot because we're going to take it apart. We're going to break it down and disassemble it. All right. Your lock <laughs> Did I really just do that? <laughs> your lock type is a liner and it's right side tip up only carry. And you have T8 in the pivot and T6 for the body screws. And the model number is the PF. Z PFE04. Let's see how this factory edge feels. Oh my. Oh my. That is cutting so clean. You oh. Oh my goodness. That is so good. Yes. You can tell a difference when you're cutting paper. Oh my gosh. Wow, does it have some bite? I am loving this edge. All right, so let's check out the fit and finish and all this good stuff. Do we have any blade play? No blade play. No lock rock. Nothing up and down. Let me back out here for you. There we go. There you go, little fella. Let's take a look at this finish. That is so nice looking. They have a little bit of flat area up here. And it's not quite... It has just the tiniest, tiniest little bit of belly. It's not as straight across as you think. I'll show you. Get a straight edge here. And I really don't want to push this down on there. This is, this is risky. 
You see, it comes up just a little bit at the tip, just the tip. And I will tell you one thing about the satin finish that it will collect some fingerprints. Of course, my hands are probably a little oily at the moment, but giving you a look at the, look at that, look at that grind. That is a pretty consistent grind. That looks really nice. Yes. I, this thing is pretty cool. All right, here you go. Now that man, look how clean, look how clean this thing is. The blade, no markings on the blade, no billboarding. It's down here, hidden out of the way. PFE04, 154CM. Very nice, very nice. You have plenty of room for sharpening all day long and this huge choil area. I mean, you, you already know what this looks like, right? It looks like a, a giant uh, straight razor. And there you go, the petrified fish. And it's kind of a different color. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And now let's see if we can get some texture vision. With this, these white scales are a little difficult. Can we see it? There you go. There's a little bit of texture for you. Go all the way back and forth. Now, how does it feel? Okay, it has, it's light on the texture. It's not smooth. But it definitely gives me something to hold on to. I, it's definitely on the smoother side, but it has kind of a zzz. Zzz. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> and you have a nice spot for a lanyard back here. Very nice looking. You know, I would swear this is titanium. I didn't, I didn't read the specs on it. I usually don't because I like to get them myself. Very nice and clean look. Look, I mean, just look at this. Look how clean that is with that pocket clip. Let me see how the pocket clip works. Oh, nice. Nice in and out of the pocket. It's solid. It's not going to come flying out. And are we centered? Yes, we are centered. Look at that hollow grind. Oh, my gosh. And how about the lockup? The lockup, uh, let's see. Now, this is one of those ones. This is one of those ones you have to look on the inside. Okay, you see the inside of the liner? Looks like we're almost to the 50% mark. All right, so quick size comparisons. Here's the QSP Penguin. Yeah, it's a little bit more than the penguin. It has a nice feel to it. I'm going to throw some up here, and hopefully you have one or two of these. Are you ready? Let's do it. So here's the Spyderco Delica 4 and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. So, yeah, it's it's a long, it is not a small knife. I'm, I'm telling you what, I just, I'm totally loving the looks of this thing. Here's the QSP Pelican. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the QSP Penguin, the penguin and the pelican. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. And here's the uh, Sativian ST103. This is one of my favorites. And oh, look at that. So the Sativian has a bigger, a bigger blade. But look at those. I love, I absolutely love this blade shape and this blade style. And here's the Kaiser Horn. I grabbed some, but I wanted to see what it was like. And hopefully you guys have one or two of these. And did you get you a Kubi Monster Dog? Here's a Kubi. A monster dog. Look at that. Way longer than the monster dog. I'll put two more up here. Here's the petrified fish bunta or the PF868. <laughs> There's the PF868. So it's a little bit longer than that. And, you know, I think just about everyone got them one of these. What about this bad boy? This, I call it the dad bod in my video <laughs> when I disassembled it. But, you know, uh, it's, is it longer than the, it might be. It is. It is longer than the Beluga, just a little bit. And sharpen length. Oh yeah, it's the Beluga's definitely got got a little bit more on it on both both aspects of belly and length on there. Let's see how it deploys. Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh my goodness, that top flip. Look at that. Bam! It is easy to get. Yes. That makes my day when I get a top flipper and I can actually do the 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 top flip like that. That is awesome. Uh, you know, can I reverse flick this? Yes. Okay, we have a winner. We have, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. You can reverse flick it because of the way that the blade goes up and there's that sloop sloop. <laughs> there's a a sloopy slope, but your finger is able to get along the side of it. And by the way, I'll tell you guys what it, what this is all about on Friday at the live stream. Friday nights at eight fifteen to eleven fifteen p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Bees blaze live at the hive. Don't miss it. Oh my gosh, that is sweet. So actually, how about let's do it like, there's your front, front flipper. So as far as dropping, how are we doing on the drop? Oh boy, it's pretty smooth. I just barely have to give it a little start and it is shutting. Oh mama, yes. Can I, can I do it left-handed? This is a real test. Yes. Oh, this is money. Money.
Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So here's our pass-through. There's a perfect amount of pass-through, and it's very comfortable. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this is checking some serious boxes. I'm not having to dig my finger in. There's just enough, and it's not, it's not too springy. Oh, ho, ho, mama, I love it. And as far as front flipper goes, I have to say this one's pretty easy. This is not one of those ones where you have to dig your finger in. And here's your jimping. Look at that. They put the good jimping on there. Now, I, I wouldn't mind if this was a little more aggressive. It's not as aggressive as I usually prefer. I, I don't know. It's pretty nice, though. I mean, it's grabbing my finger, and it's easy to deploy. I, I would say just a tad more aggression. It's kind of smooth, so if you don't like aggressive jipping, you're going to be set there. So, ergos, my hand from here to here is four inches. From here to here is three and a half. From the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. So, yes, you have handle all day long. I, I mean, if you have extra large hands... You are set. And do we have any hot spots? I can feel the pocket clip. It's not hateful. I would call it a warm spot. That's the only thing I'm feeling when I give it the old B squeeze and pushing down, bearing down on it. I can feel the inside of the G10 right here. And if you're part of the B's hive, you already know what I'm talking about. I can feel the insides here, but you can get a little piece of sandpaper and just go and then and then you're nice and smooth. So that's the only place that I'm feeling it. And oh my goodness, this thing is going to be a utility cutter all day long. I mean, holy cow. Utility cutting, box cutting, you you name it, any kind of cutting. This thing I am just I am just in awe of the of the total uh what do you call it? The the hollowness of the blade. Let me show you. So here is your hollowness of your blade. See there? That is very nice, very very nice. So we'll do a quick disassembly and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. So we're going to get right in here, get dirty with it, get dirty with it. Yeah, get you a Weeha bit set. You definitely want to get this set is the one I recommend. It was recommended to me. You'll want to get it. The reason why is because if you get the cheaper sets, you will end up stripping the bits and then you'll be stuck with the knife half, half put together or half taken apart. And this right here will also double as an extra bit driver. And you know, I would say get you a couple of them. I just saying, you know, just saying and get you a stubby Weeha bit driver. You will never regret it because you'll get those ones where if you get one that's tough, you do not want to spin and strip the screw or the screw head. The screw head or the bit head. Oh, so this is coming, this is coming out really easy. Nice and easy. I mean, that was that was almost too easy. It came right out of there. So let's see. It does not have any thread locker or anything on it. None that I can see. All right, let's rock and roll. So I already told you about Bees Blades live at the Hive. And you can get all kinds of bit drivers. I put links to the bit drivers. Anything that you see in the videos, I put links to it. So, you know, and if you don't know how to see the links, down on this corner, you'll see a little V, a kind of a wide V if you're on your phone. Tap that little V and then you can say show more. And it shows all the links to all the maintenance supplies, KPL knife, pivot lube. You'll see me using that. Definitely, um, I have I have 10% discount codes to a bunch of different places. Taking that screw out nice and easy. Look at that. Nothing on it. It's nice and clean. And then I use Threadlocker if I need it. I typically, you know, if you if you don't take your knives apart or check the screws often, I'd recommend maybe using it. But I don't use it unless I have a screw that's coming loose or the scale's coming loose on me. And look at there. I got some ink. I got some ink on it already. That's all right. It'll wash out. You can use some Dawn dishwashing liquid and, uh, and an old toothbrush. Or you can use a, a new toothbrush, I guess. <laughs> But this, I have the feeling it's going to be easy to take apart and put back together. So far, it's coming apart very well. Not a whole lot of screws. So here is, boom, here's your scale that I got dirty. Here's the inside of it. And it looks pretty clean. And look, yes, look at that. We got a D-shaped pivot, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I'm talking about. And get some rubbing alcohol and put it on a rag. Got old t-shirt. I use microfiber cloth just because, I don't know, it's just what I prefer. That's my preference. That's my preference. Is that going to wipe off easy or am I going to have to use some uh, dishwashing liquid? I might have to. I got a little bit of ink on there. Now, that's going to be one thing. If you get the white, it's going to show. It's going to show. And if I do dye it, I'm going to give it a good washing, a good rinsing. All right, so here is... Here, oh yeah, look at that. Look how pretty. You know I love my ball bearings. Now you see how this is the open side of the bearings facing away from the blade. <laughs> it just slid right off. And 
right inside here, see how that is open? And that is where the open side is going to fit. The open side of those bearings is going to fit inside there. Let me give you a quick upsy looky, upsy looky, upsy closey. Yeah, look at those bearings. Love them. You know I love them. So, yeah, like I said, I'll share what, what this is all about. By the way, that's Neosporin or that's uh, antibacterial stuff, whatever it's called. When I get cut or injured, I always put that on once. I don't put it on after that, just one time at the beginning after I clean it real good. So here's your pivot. Nice, nice and clean. I love it. D-shaped. D-shaped, baby. Got to love the D. What? That's what she said. All right, let's put this back in. And this time, you know, sometimes I really lose track of what I'm saying because, you know, I like to talk. I like to blab. And I also love it when you guys comment and you tell me your knife stories. You tell me what you had for breakfast. You know, you don't always have to have, have a comment about the knife. And some of you right now are having breakfast or you might be driving to or from home or work or whatever. I hope you're having a great day right now. So get you some of these uh, swabby dobs. I call them doodads. Um, I'll put links in the description where you can get a bunch of these really cheap. And then get you some KPL knife pivot lube. Uh, there's the heavy and the original. I'm going to use them both. I'm going to use some of this KPL original right here. Put some on my doodad. And then put it around my pivot. My pivot. I'm just going to put it around the pivot. And then inside here. Very nice. There's your stop pin right there. Right there, right there. And let me clean this. Wow, this blade is sharp. Just when I just picked it up, the edge of it just went against the mat and went shing. Sounded like taking a sword out of its sheath. My oh my. All right, so I'm going to get some heavy, KPL heavy. And these these uh, doodads, right as of right now, there is a really nice deal on them. And I'll put the link in the description. I don't know how long that deal is going to be going on, but I'll have it linked uh, in the knife maintenance section. You'll definitely want to check that out. So I'm going to put I'm going to put this back in here. Come on now, focus. I'm going to put the open side facing towards the scale, just like I found it. And then I'm going to lube it up. Just put a little bit out here, and it'll soak through. The KPL does its job. It does a really good job. And you know, I just put heavy on there. It's I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. That's not gonna hurt it. Or you know, I might not have. I don't even know what I did. I see. I started talking. I'm gonna put. I have the KPL heavy. I'm going to put that in this detent hole right here, very carefully. And then I'm going to, are we focused? There we go. And then I'm just going to put a tiny little bit going all, come on, baby. Going all the way around. It's a little sloppy. And it's not going to hurt anything. You're going to get the, you're going to get the gist of what we're doing here. So I'm going to put this guy, this, that guy, this guy in here. And I probably put a little too much, but that's all right. Sometimes I feel like I take a little too long because I start blabbing and I don't pay attention and I just blab and blab. Now you can, I'll, let me just show you the inner workings of how this works. The inner workings of how this works. Is, does that make any sense? So here's your stop pin. You can see when it shuts. That's where it stops the blade so you're not going to hit anything and vice versa. And I do have a, a lot of shininess going on today. You know, sometimes I have the angle a little different. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I'm putting the original just around the pivot right here. And I got I have too much on there, but you guys, you guys and gals have the idea. Let me get that off of there. And maybe it'll help if I move it just a little bit out of the light. There we go. That's a little better. So I'm gonna put this dude back on here and put a little KPL action on there. So I definitely want y'all to, if you're new to the Bees Blades. To the Bees Blades, to Bees Blades. <laughs> Join us on Friday nights between 8.15, 11.15. Sometimes we run a little bit later. If you ever have questions or you're not aware of the knife community that's out there, oh, you'll definitely want to become aware because if you have questions, you will, you will discover this community is absolutely amazing. So, you know, this, everything just feels like it clicked right back in. Could it be that easy? Could it be? There we go. I was looking for my stubby. Sometimes I can't find my stubby. You know, it's bad when you can't find your stubby. <laughs> All right, so I got that tightened down. Just just a couple fingers tight. And let's get these little screw dads. And I'm putting the, the screws back where I found them. I'm keeping track. 
Sometimes I just talk talk so much. You know, I've had people in the comments be like, you talk too much. And I'm like, well, you know, you just want to listen to dead space. This is my chance to say hello to you all. Other than when you all say hi in the in the comments. And when you're when you say hi in the comments and I'm and I'm answering back, that's our chance to interact. Other than the live stream. That's when we really get to interact. That is a blast. I have so much fun at the live streams. Me and Mrs. B's have so much fun. And we always do a giveaway or two or three, you never know. And, of course, we do have a big giveaway coming up. And I'm trying to decide whether to do it live or not, you know. All right, so I have it a little tight. I'm going to back it off just a little bit, just a wee bit. Oh, no, I didn't have it tight enough. <laughs> That's what the problem was. Here we go. Are we centered? Yes, it is nice and centered. And how's the action? A little too tight. I'm going to back it off. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, I had it pretty tight. Still centered. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go to the big screen. So, the Petrified Fish Scholar, the PFE04. What do I think about it? Well, I think that... Oh, 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 yes. You know, I just have to give it a start. I do not want my fingers in the path of that blade when it's shutting because... Whew, it's almost drop shutty. It's super easy to deploy. The Ergos are very comfortable. You're not going to be doing heavy cutting with it. And, you know, I'm just absolutely loving this hollow grind. And this is one of my favorite, absolute favorite blade sh shapes. I really, 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 <laughs> I love a sheep's foot blade shape. And man, this thing is so sharp. It come, this one came very sharp. You know, when my other one comes in, we'll see how it is. We'll talk about it at the live stream. The ergos are great. You can get right up there next to the blade to do some cutting. And oh, I don't know if I mentioned this or not. Look at this crown spine. This spine is nice and smooth. Oh, I love it. Love it. Only drawback would be the inside of the G10. I could feel that. And you, you already saw what it looks like on the inside. It's milled out for weight. It's not even four ounces. I like it. And it runs, uh, they run like 68 for the white and 69 for the wood versions. I, I think it's, I think it's worth it. Definitely worth the money. It is solid feeling. It is very nice. And I love that look. It kind of reminds me of a Vero. There's a couple other blade styles this kind of reminds me of. I like it. I'm curious what you all will think about it. Tell me what you think. And if you don't have any opinions on it, tell me what you had for breakfast or lunch or tell me what happened on the way to work. <laughs> Just say something, say hi, say hello. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And until I see you again, talk to you again, or see your comments, remember to live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.